Amatu Bojo, now yesterday I began to share with you from Jude verse 20 and 21. And then he says, you, beloved. Now yesterday I told you, he has called you his beloved. Now there is nothing you can do about it. You are already the beloved of God. So the better, the earlier you accept it for yourself and begin to walk as the beloved, the better for you. Praise God. You know, he didn't just say, and you, building up yourself. He said, you beloved. Praise God. I'm the beloved of God. I want you to say that with me. Say, I am the beloved of God. And that's who you are. Praise God. Now, he says, building up yourself on your most holy faith. It's your responsibility. And notice it says building up yourself. So, you see, not just you now on your own. Stay in the environment of people who believe that they should build up themselves also. So all of us will be building up ourselves on what? On our most holy faith. Now, he said it is by praying in the Holy Ghost or praying in the Holy Spirit. Depends on what translation you're using. So he says praying in the Holy Ghost. Listen. When we pray in the Holy Ghost, now, I, I need to explain something here. It is not everybody you find praying in tongues that is praying in the Holy Ghost. See, now, I'm not just talking about fake people. No, even, even some people who, in their hearts, they are genuine. But because, see, they have been taught wrong. Now, there are people who, from the very first day they spoke in tongues, what they spoke in tongues that they became their tongues. So anytime they want to speak in tongues, you can just predict what they are going to say next. You, I mean, when you say let's pray in tongues, you can just mimic them and you will be just right. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Now, anytime you go pray in tongues, oh, they, that's, that's exactly what they pray. Only those tongues they pray. Now, they are not praying in the Holy Ghost. I'll tell you why. See, we pray in the Holy Ghost or when we say we pray, we are praying in the Holy Ghost, what we are saying is we yielding ourselves to the Holy Spirit and He is giving us what to say. He is giving us utterance to speak. We do the speaking. He gives the utterance. Now, remember what Jesus said in Mark chapter 16. He says, And these signs shall follow them that believe. And one of the things He says is they will speak with new tongues. Now, I want you to get that. Jesus said, when we believe in him, that was when we receive him and we get born again. How do we get born again? The Holy Ghost comes to reside in us. Now, he says, one of the ways you will know that someone has believed. Now, actually, Jesus was telling his disciples, these signs shall follow them that believe. So, he wasn't just talking to you, the, the disciples. These signs shall follow you because, he, you know, he, I want you to get that. He was telling them, you go preach. And anyone who believes and is baptized shall be saved. And anyone who doesn't believe will be damned. So how do we know who those who believe? He said, these signs shall follow those who believe. See? So when I go preaching, and I preach the gospel, I say, oh, I, 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 I believe. Now, it's not everybody that say they believe that have actually believed. You know, Jesus proved that in John chapter 8. The Bible said many Jews at that time believed in him. Because Jesus just finished preaching a message and, and there said many Jews believed in him. So Jesus now turns to the Jews that believed in him. And he now says, if you continue in my word, then are you my disciples indeed. And you will know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Oh, trouble broke out. Oh, now these were the Jews that just believed in Jesus. At the end of the day, when you read that from John chapter 8, at the end of the day, they got so angry, you know, they, they all left. Because they said, what do you mean we'll be free? Are we ever in bondage? We're Abraham's children. <laughs> Jesus, if you're Abraham's children, you won't go about trying to kill me. And he was talking to those who just believed in him. Now, what, what does that tell you? They really, did, they really didn't believe in him. Because when you believe in someone, you will trust him and you will trust his words. Now, when Jesus says you will be made free, then you should think, oh, he knows what he's talking about. So, how, 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 do, we, how, how do we know this freedom? That's, that's the attitude they should have come with. But he said, no, we're free. No, we're Abraham's children have never been in bondage. So, what did they believe then? Now, it's the same thing today. 
See, so Jesus said, this is how you know those who believe. And one of the things he said, they will speak with new tongues. Now, notice Jesus didn't just say they will speak in tongues. He said they will speak with new tongues. Praise God. Now, why is that so? As long as the Holy Ghost is operating inside of you, and when you pray, new tongues ought to come to you. See, so so you can master the tongues that you speak. You get what I'm saying? You don't master it. If you just yield yourself to the Spirit of God, and, and He begins to give you utterance. And let me tell you this truth. You know, some people confuse this thing sometimes. And so uh, when we're speaking tongues, we're speaking, you know, in 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 some language that nobody understands. But there are times when you have the gift of the of tongues. You can be speaking any language. Listen, listen, listen. The Holy Spirit is the one who gives the utterance. What you do is to do the speaking. So, with a gift of tongues, or at least every one of us ought to speak in tongues because the Holy Ghost is in us. Now, when the Holy Ghost is giving utterance, He chooses what utterance He wants to. If He wants to give you utterance in Chinese, come on, just go ahead and speak it. If He wants, all you know is that you are speaking in new tongues. Praise God. I've got to stop it, but we're going to continue tomorrow. Now, what I'm sharing with you is so important. Now, that's why you should pay attention. Praise God. Have a wonderful day today. I'm speaking tongues. New tongues. Praise God. Bye-bye.